Hi guys, it's Elizabeth Pfeiffer from ElizabethPfeiffer.com and today's question comes from our Soulful Shift Kickers group on Facebook and it's about focusing on your manifestations and being in alignment with them. And so I picked this one today because of the word focus. <laughs> It's just kind of a really big red flag. So when you focus on manifestation, you want to make sure that your focus is in alignment, but it's also in an abundant way, not in a focused lack oriented perspective. So what does that mean? So if I'm focusing on creating something and manifesting it, but I'm focused on the fact that it's not here yet and that I don't have it, then that is like an empty space. That is focusing on the fact that it's not here. And so you keep sending out vibes to the universe that says it's not here yet. Um, and so the universe just keeps showing you how it's not there for you. So we're just going to invite you to flip your perception on the word focus. And when you think about manifesting, you always want to um, think about it from a feeling vibrational state. Okay. So how, how would we do that? We would take your manifestation of what it is that you want to create and feel into it. How does it feel to have that? I mean, like really amplify that right? And it's like, what's the energy behind it? What does it make you feel? Does it make you giggle and laugh like you just had, you know, soda pop and it's kind of bubbling up effervescently? You know, it doesn't make you feel joyful. It doesn't make you feel expansive. You want that. That is what you want to focus on, the feeling of that manifestation. You want to hold it for at least 20 to 30 seconds every time. You want to hold it so that you can actually bring it into your body, feel it into your cells. And then that is the message that gets delivered to, as Abraham would say, your vortex or <laughs> to the universe, whatever verbiage you want to use. That is what, that is the energy that the universe reads from you. Now, when you're in that, woo, yeah, effervescent, um, I'm saying that wrong, but <laughs> that vibration, it feels good. But when you're focused on the fact that it's your vibration, your um, manifestation is not here yet, and you're focusing in that direction, you can feel already, just as we're describing it, the energy just coming down, 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 right? And when it's low and dense like that, the universe still reads that and gives you more of that. So you want to flip your focus. So here's a short little exercise that you can try about your manifestations. So think about something that you want to manifest and now feel into it. Like we just described, like you already have it. It's already here. Just imagine what that feels like. It feels good. You got soda pop bubbles. It feels light right? And hold that for 30 seconds. I'll count for you. We're at 10. It's 20 seconds. Thirty. Okay, now let it go. That is it. Let it go. We don't focus on it anymore, okay? You don't think about it anymore, okay? And now when that pops up, like let's say that you have a thought now, it's two days later and you're like, oh, it hasn't come in and your energy kind of like takes the dip. That's when counteraction comes in. And the counteraction that they're telling me um, to give to you is the what if exercise to counteract that. So when you have a doubt or when something comes up and you think it's not going to happen or it's not here yet and you're getting impatient, it start playing the what if game. And this is a game that's taken from um, Abraham, I want to say Ask and Is Given book. Um, and it's, well, what if it does happen? What if I get so many clients that I don't know what to do with myself? What if I get so many partners who want to take me out to dinner that I can't even book them in my schedule? And then just keep going on that what if tantrum until you can actually feel your vibration shift. Then imagine, go back to step one, imagine having that in your world right now. Keep that feeling up really high, hold it 30 seconds and let it go again.
okay? So you wanna keep counteracting any thoughts or any feelings that come up that wanna to try to block you around that. Do not focus on not having the lower, denser energies. I can't stress this enough. And what'll happen during that time is you'll be aware of it. Little mind goblins will come in and you'll hear in your head all the reasons why this isn't gonna work. That's when you have to counteract. That's the practice, is counteracting the negative mind goblins um, that would deter you or derail you. That's how you stay in alignment. That is how you attract your manifestation. That is the energy you want the universe to read. So we hope you found that helpful. And if you did, leave us some comments below and share with your social networks. Have a great day, everybody.